Hey everybody, you're getting a little different view today. I am going to be going through all of my gold and silver jewelry or what has been set aside to be checked over for gold and silver. And what I'm doing here is basically, let me show you. I have got tubs of stuff. We'll see how much we actually get through. But what I'm going to be doing is sorting it. So I create a bag for scrap gold, scrap silver, and then I'll also create a bag for to test. So if I've got things that I was not sure about, maybe it was marked, I'm going to put those into a bag for testing and then I'll be sorting out like things that I'm going to list for sale and also things that I, oh these cats, they have decided to come and join us today. So pardon if you see or hear cats going bananas in the background. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today, sorting, and so you can get kind of a peek at, at my process. Uh, I have this tub. I've got one that I sort of started here. That's my problem, is I sort of start, and then I move to a new tub. Like this one's got a ton of stuff in it that is maybe like I started sorting it and then started a new tub. So I've got this one. Usually I will throw it in something like this. It says scrap silver. And, oh my goodness, I don't know if we're going to get through all of this, but we might. So that's what I've got going for us today. Just a little bit of fun sorting jewelry uh, because it's starting to pile up and there's money here and I need to get this either listed or separated out for things to scrap or things that I'm not sure about that I need to do a testing to test. A testing video on to see where they go and these cats have decided it's battle time <laughs> jewelry no battle yes all right so let me show you I actually already started a little bit so I can show you kind of where I'm at here so I've got a tub here sorry eBay sticker you got taken over this is my silver to list tub and I've got some silver that I actually some of it I just got in a garage sale recently little you can see that longhorn some of my stuff that you might have seen from another video this is a dragonfly pretty cool sterling hang on Isn't that cool dragonfly and then some other these were ones that I kept for a while it was like cameo they're vermeil so there's like gold over silver so there's a little bit of this a little bit of that from turquoise I know you're like there's money sitting here I've got all this money just sitting here and I don't want to start diving into more jewelry boxes. I've had a number of requests to do some more uh, jewelry unboxings and I'm kind of drowning in what I've got going here already. So I really am going to try to yeah get this sorted and then move forward with more jewelry unboxings. So this is my, my tub of other jewelry that I need to list or figure out what to do with. That's just like a little vintage, let me see. This is a little vintage Hallmark brooch. So even if it's not gold or silver, it can still sell you guys. So vintage little Hallmark brooch. Yeah, cute, cute, cute stuff. All right, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna do with this cool like jade slash jadeite. I have to figure out which one this, yeah. So I'm not sure where to put this one. I can't, it's not gold, not silver. I just need like a high-end jewelry container. Okay. So I'm gonna turn the camera, I'm gonna turn the camera down. I keep looking up, I'm not used to seeing myself in the screen, sorry. I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see what I'm messing with in my jewelry box. So we've got this little ring here. It's like a spinner ring. Love makes the world go round. Isn't that cute? That's super adorable. And this one, it looks pretty legit as far as silver goes. But what I've got is my magnet, just to do a precursory check on it. And then next I'll check on the inside to see if there's any marks. It is marked 925 right in there. So this cute little ring, and I think it's actually a Brighton ring, which is not always... There's like that little heart down in there, like a heart stamp, kind of swirly, kind of a Brighton look to it. And usually Brighton, well, some of the Brighton I have found is just plated. So yeah, this is going into my, my silver stuff to list. Next, and you might've seen some of these from some of the other videos. This one is a gemstone ring that is going to be silver and definitely, see this one's like, 
Sometimes you don't even have to check with a magnet or anything. Like there's the stamp right there. It looks legit. Of course, I will have it tested before I list it, but it's getting sorted. Now these were from my storage unit and I'm actually keeping these. So I just need to clean these up. Um, these are gonna be some catch and release that I'm gonna wear. I love them. These were also in the storage unit, the little candy cane. They're not, I can't hold them still. They're not silver or gold, but they're still something I can list. And I have the, the matching brooch with it as well like that i'll probably list them separately though this was also from the storage unit not gold or silver but still a nice little brooch that i can list and then these also cute little earrings but they are going to go into not gold or silver just to list and there's the other tweety bird the tweety bird the other one is in there bonus here uh so yeah this is going over in there as well this is all stuff from that storage unit that got put in here. This is a really nice one. This was a Vermeer. I already checked this one out. The uh, the necklace is silver, I believe. Hang on, let me double check that. But then um, this one, it's a gold over silver. The Vermeer on that, really pretty. And there was like one earring, so this will go for me to list. Then there's a little ring here, which is sweet and all. Not magnetic. I mean, it looks, it's hard to tell. I mean, it looks like really divoted and I don't know what to do with this one. There's no marks in it. I doubt it's gold or silver, but what I'm going to do is I like to have some stuff to test. So it's gonna go in my to test bag. There. I'm going to move things over into this little cubby so you can see it as I pull from it. How about that? How about that? Then what we're looking at here is this ring. James Avery has a ring very similar to this that is out. So I'm going to really look this over. James Avery is a brand that I love and I love to sell. And okay, here's the thing. There is a 925. There is an A in there, which... I do not think it's James Avery. There is an A, like vintage James Avery sometimes is marked A-V-E-R or Avery and it doesn't have the candelabra, but also just the, the way that the inside of this is kind of ridged. I don't think this is James Avery. It's just kind of a cool ring though, unless it's supposed to be, I don't even know. Okay, but anyway, this is going to go to sell. I just, this might be one I try to polish up. I do not always polish the silver depending on how it looks. Like this one, I probably won't because some people like that tarnished look. Now this is a gold earring. I remember already checking this one out and it's a solo that I've got and it looks like it got run over. Gold scrap bag ready. And because it's a solo, in it goes. Then there are two of these and these are dyed, like dyed for maybe Howlite, maybe something else to look like little scarabs. They are set in what I believe is silver on both of them. Flip this over. So I am not seeing a mark on either of these. So what I'm going to do, because it could be plated, uh, I do believe that it is silver. I'm not, you know, I, I could easily feel confident listing it. But because I want to ensure that it is, what I'm going to do is put them in my to test because they're not marked, so they're going in here to test. That way I can take a picture or a video of me testing them and then uh, attach that to my listing. And sometimes I'll do that. I'll, I'll get five or six, 10 things and create a video of me testing them. And then I'll link the timestamp of that, that part of the video into my listing so that uh, people can go in and see me actually testing the item. It kind of covers me, covers my backside, and also gives the buyer confidence that what they're buying is actually legitimately silver or gold or whatever gemstone it might be. So we've got an earring here. Let me see if there's a mate. Mm, yes, maybe, yes. Okay, so I think this is the mate. However, this one has a hang tag. Looks like Tommy Hilfiger, little Tommy Hilfiger hang tag. Is the other hang tag hanging around? Let's see. Tommy Hilfiger, maybe silver? I don't know. Uh, it's magnetic, so probably not. However, I know sometimes it can be, but not very often do I find 
silver. That is magnetic, but it can happen. And no, when I look closely with my loop, that is not tarnish. It's where the silver has peeled off. So honestly, this is just gonna go probably for trash or like in a scrap, scrap bag. Blech. Boo. Dilemma, I've got this gold earring. It is gold and there's no mate for it. Isn't it gorgeous? It's got a little dent in it right there. But because there's no mate, uh, I'm going to put it in my gold scrap. I wonder if that was the earring mate for it. No, it's too small. But into the gold scrap. No mate, off you go. And yes, I know some people will buy solo earrings, but you know, I just, this is my process. Looks like a little toe ring. Little toe ring, are you silver? Let's find out. This little toe ring is marked 925, so this is going into my to sell. Then, hang on, we've got a little tangle here. We've got this beauty. Isn't this sweet? Look at these like freshwater type pearls. Is that what you would call those? They're not Baroque. I always have to look it up. But they're that bumpy style, and it's very vintage, kind of Art Nouveau looking. Isn't it awesome? Super cool. I don't think it's gold just because of the way the back looks, but it's really cool. Let me look. Well, let me get the magnet first. Magnet, check. Okay, loop. So there's no stamp. It has been cut right there. Uh, what do I do? I think it's still something that's sellable. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my to test. Even though I don't think it really is, it's gonna be kind of a fun one to test out. So this is going into to test, because look how cool it is. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. All right, this is the earring that matched that uh, pendant that I showed you a little bit ago, but there is no mate for it. So this one, because it is silver, it, I know it's gold in color, but it's uh, vermeil, so it's silver, uh, gold over silver. So this is going to go into my silver scrap, as beautiful as it is. Unless somebody wants to rescue it. I don't usually list. I don't know, maybe, I mean, if I get a bunch of like silver scrap earrings, maybe I'll make a listing with a bundle of them or something. Who knows? Oh gosh, y'all know how I feel about tangles. I don't like them. I do like it. No, 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 no. Bonus here. This is a little Tennessee necklace, which is not gonna be, it's not silver, but I'm gonna put it in, I still think it can sell. So this is gonna go with my other stuff to sell. Oh gosh, bonus here, gross, get out of here. Now this little teeny gold one, I am almost confidently positive that it's gold, because just look how fine it is. It's so teeny, tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny. What a fine, tiny little chain. Hang on, let me get it out. Ooh, it's so pretty and teeny. Hang on. Oh, it's got a tiny little knot, you guys. Let me see if I can get it to show you. Can you see how tiny and fine that little chain is? And this is two strands of it right there. That's doubled up. No, it's not. That's, no, it is two. See, look, it's two strands. Look how tiny that little chain is. So teeny, teeny. Okay, so this one I'm gonna have to detangle and just, yeah, but it's gorgeous. Beautiful little fine chain. And this one is marked 14K on that little, on the little spring ring there. So gold, let me get a new box for you. Next up is another chain. This one is, is it magnetic or is the jump, oops. Well, maybe it was just that part. All right, so spring ring, magnetic, or rather the jump ring. And then this part was magnetic, uh, like so. But this was not. So let me see on the, on the jump ring. So there's no mark on that jump ring. So what I'm going to do is put this in my to test bag. Next up is this necklace. It says dare to dream and it's got a little chain. I do not think this is gold. It's not magnetic, so let's take a closer look. But it doesn't even feel, like if you know the feel of it, it doesn't even feel right. It's kind of scratchy. So this one I am putting in my other stuff to sell. And then this chain looks like possibly vermeil, because it looks like gold here. There's some rubbed off here, and it does have a label on it. So 
This one I'm guessing is gonna be 925. That one's a 925 Italy. So this, because it's broken, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my silver scrap. Next, we have got, I am not even sure what this is. It looks like, I don't even know what this is. It looks like a little pagoda or something. I am trying to remember what this came off of, but there's a stamp on the bottom and the stamp on the bottom says 14K. So I'm gonna put this with my gold stuff, even though I'm probably gonna end up testing. This little piece is gonna go in my gold scrap. Got another chain here. It is magnetic. So this one, ooh. Let me see, is it marked? So this I'm just gonna put with my stuff to sell in case I find a gold tone pendant that needs a chain. Let's scoot things over here so you can get a, a teaser, a teaser. We've got this sweet little tiny cross and not magnetic. This one is marked 925 on the side here. So that is going in my to sell. Another, ooh, that looks pretty grody. Another chain. See, even if the jump, I mean, even if the spring ring is magnetic, it could be the ring inside of it. So the rest of it's not. So what I'm gonna do here is look at the, the spring ring. This one is marked 14K, so I'm putting this in my gold to sell because it's a nice chain. Then we've got another ring here, which I do not believe is gold at all. Nope. All right, is this a ring? There's a few little earrings here. Let me see what we've got. And then we'll pile on some more jewelry. Some random down at the bottom. This is another solo gold earring that there's no mate for, so this is going into my gold scrap. And this, which looks like it was stepped on. Let's see if I can straighten it out. All right, let's pull the magnet in here. Oh, you're magnetic. But look, on this, it's not the earring, it's the back. So let's knock that off. Here as well, is it that? See, it's the post on that one. And this, this one is not marked and it is magnetic, so it's going to go, just, just gonna go. That one's magnetic, you get to go. This one is interesting. This little cross here, it looks silver, but it's marked 585, which is gold. So this one will go into my gold scrap. I'm glad I took a second look at it. 14K on this little one and 95 on those. So those are going into the silver scrap. Why is there fingernail clippers in here? I do not know. We've got this chain, which I don't think is silver, but I could be wrong. So it's not magnetic. It is marked 925 right there. So this gets to go with my stuff to sell. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, it kind of has the weight of a James Avery piece. I'm gonna look it over. Because James Avery's stuff is really uh, strong like this, like very substantial. This is, some of their stuff is substantial. On the label there, it's got the 925 again, but it's not James Avery. James Avery has a candelabra, and that is something else. I don't know, but, oh, I take that back. It is James Avery. Okay, so on the other side of the label, it says Sterling and Avery. So this one is a James Avery necklace. This gorgeous beauty. I got this at a garage sale forever ago. And clearly I've had trouble letting go of it because it's beautiful. Not that I will ever wear it. It's huge for me. I mean, it's not like I could wear it, maybe. But it's like a really big ring. So it's got turquoise and coral. And I believe this is a diamond. I feel like we tested this before. I believe this is a diamond set in here. And it is marked sterling. And I feel like there's a maker's mark on that too. So this is definitely a seller. This sweet bracelet. Again, I believe this is one that, where do we go? Where do we go? Is a vermeil, I believe. Hmm. I'm not seeing the mark on it, but on some of these, like I have a Tiffany bracelet and it's like, you think that the, like this isn't it, but I have a Tiffany bracelet where you think the, the label's gonna be on this area, but it's like on the complete opposite side, like on a, on a link on the chain. So it's something to consider, like looking things over carefully. But because I don't see a mark on this one, I'm gonna put this one in for testing. I love this. So it's got this J charm, no label. This is, what does it say right here? I can't read it. Hang on. The label says John Wynn. 
W I N D. And there's no stamp indicating whether this bracelet part is silver or not. I mean, this charm is not, but yeah, I'm gonna put this in at least to test this part of the chain. Next is this pair of earrings. Beautiful kind of native style. You can tell they're really old by the, the hooks in the back. Not magnetic. There's a 08 stamped there. I'm almost positive that these are silver. Just from the way they look, their age. And I'm super curious about this 08 stamped on both of them here, right in the front. Cool, interesting. This is one of those torque necklaces. Hard metal, sits at the base of the throat. You would put a pendant on it. And this is one I believe I already know is James Avery. Let me find the mark for you. Here we go, right there. So right there, it says Avery and Sterling. Here is this, what I think are silver beads graduated down to a silver puff heart pendant. This necklace is marked Korea, and when I look at it closer, I believe that it was plated and then kind of peeled off. So this is something that I think I can probably still sell because it has that tarnished look, but it's not silver dump some more stuff over here to go through. This is a sweet little, like, looks like a little pansy charm. Let me zoom in some more on it. And I do not believe it's silver. I mean, just based on that color. So this, I think it's something I can still sell because it's really cute. Someone might like that, but it's not gonna go with silver or gold. Now, I have all my cameos. I did a bunch of, a bunch of videos about cameos and aging them, dating them a while back. Uh, so I figure, well, I'll show them to you while I'm out. Well, I've got them out. So this is one. <laughs> I can link that video here. Some of them are legit cameos. You know, shell carved. This one was like a filigree vermeil, gold over silver, or yeah, gold over silver. Um, and then some of them like this are costume jewelry that are, you know, just clip on, kind of like Avon. I think this might actually be Avon made uh, some cameos like that. Here's another one that's silver. These cats are going bonkers again. This little pair, so this is not silver or gold, but they can sell, so put them over there. And these cameos are real cameos. Look like, ver these two are vermeil, gold over silver. Um, if I'm saying it wrong, I'm sure somebody will correct me. You can see the back of the shell cameos. And then this one was silver. And I believe that is actually a shell, not a resin. I don't have my loop to look at it right now. This is a gorgeous cameo. It's like the pink is like so pale, super pale pink. And then is it vermeil or is it gold? I believe it's vermeil just based on right in that area right there. You can see kind of where the gold has rubbed off, but this can be a pendant or, or it could be a brooch. So that's a sweet one. That one I will sell. Here's another gorgeous one. This one's set in silver. Another one that is a carved shell cameo, gorgeous. And then this is a ring that I actually got from a, I think it's from a Goodwill blue box. But this is a, I think this was a coral. And this one is Mark 14K. This was one that I was planning on keeping. Ah, it will fit my pinky. It's teeny, teeny, tiny little cameo ring. So these will go to my silver to sell. I'm gonna keep them bagged. And then this one will go to my gold to sell. This is a really pretty abalone four leaf clover set in silver. Paid $4 for that. Shows it right there. Uh, this is alpaca silver, so not 925. Let me see what that stamp at the bottom is. Nothing. All right, so this is alpaca and abalone. And then this one, and it's this enamel moon and Saturn planet. So even though it's not gold or silver, it's definitely still a nice sellable piece. All right, so I've got this locket, which I believe is just costume jewelry. Nobody's home, but it's still fun. People love 
lockets. This is a nice oval one. I feel like I had trouble with this one before. No, nobody's home. And this one also is just costume jewelry. It's super pretty. And then this one is, I believe this is a, an Eisenhower political pin that was my grandmother's. Anyway, so there's that. All right, let's dive in. So this necklace here, oh, it's got a bit of a magnetism to it. However, it looks like it's silver and it's marked there. It is Mark 925 Italy, but it is magnetic. So this is one that I'm going to put into my to test, which is always fun because that way I can see, is it really silver? Is it stamps or cheap? It looks like silver, but uh, I wanna double check it. Are we ready for this bag of goodies? Let's zoom out the teens. We've got a bag of goodies here. Here we go. Here we go. What do we have now? Do you have a mate? This is all like little random bits. Okay, fun, 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 fun. Random bits. All right, so this earring, there appears to be no mate. Let's see. Magnet says, well, good. No mark, so this is going to test. It might not be. I mean, Kind of looks silvery. I don't know. Oh, H-I-S-D. That's... All right, this is gold filled. So I need to make a separate bag for that. So gold filled. From what I have been told, we can scrap, but I need to double check it because I've never done that before. So here's another lapel pin. This one, no marks at all on that. We've got some little earrings here that look like they could be gold. They're very promising. However, again, magnetic. So these are marked 925 as well. So these are going to test. Mm, this is all like, I'm gonna hold off on this stuff. Let's do more. Jewelry, jewelry. That's like all little bits of this and that. We'll come back to that, how about that? I have a couple more torques here. This one, let me get the magnet on this one. Not magnetic, it's got a cool closure. Love it. I can't find a mark on this one, so I'm gonna test it. This one, you can see the mark right there. And this one says Mexico 925 right there. Then we've got this beauty here. Nice turquoise sun. It's marked on the back. Mexico 925 and the Necklace closes like so. It's very interesting. Okay, so this is one I will sell. Solo earring. I believe it's a heart earring here. This one is silver, so this is going to go in my silver scrap. All right, let's dive into this one. So let's see how we want to do this. I'm going to turn it to the side here. First things first, I've got this bracelet, which I think, even though it's tarnished, it's sort of heavy. So I'm not 100% sure about this one. Let me get a closer look at it. I'm gonna put this into test. There's no marks on it. Oh, such tingles. Whew. Next is this necklace, which appears to be silver with these little blue stones. I'm trying to see if it's two separate ones. What's going on with this? It's tangled up. All right, let's take a look at the hang tag here. This one is marked 925. And what I need to figure out is if it's a necklace that's tangled or two necklaces where one is broken. Oh, it's one necklace and it is broken. So it looks like it might be an easy fix. Next up is this necklace, and I, I feel like I have a bracelet for this one somewhere. But this one I remember checking out a while back, and it's a designer brand. 
let's see here. It is Joy Dart. J O. Oh, let me see. Make sure I'm saying that right. J O I D A R T. So this is one that is definitely a seller on that. It is silver. Joy Dart. And I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, and somebody will correct me. Then this one, it appears to be something that had multiple stones in it, that maybe some of the stones fell out. Uh, it is silver, so this one, unfortunately, if it, you know, if it had all the stones, it'd be really cool in order to, to sell it. But because it does not, I'm gonna have to put this in my silver scrap. Next, I have these beautiful earrings. These actually look like James Avery style earrings. Bonus hairs, get out of here. It looks like they have, they make silver and bronze with like bronze uh, finishings. It looks like James Avery style. So let me take a closer look and see if these are James Avery. So this one has it marked on the side, 925. They're not James Avery. I cannot make out what that mark says, but they're very cool. What kind of that style of James Avery earrings though? This is a really cool piece. It is a solo earring. I don't have the mate for it. It is a clip-on. This appears to be maybe wood up here. I'm not 100% sure, but I this might be actually an earring I do try to sell by itself because it's pretty awesome. Pretty cool mother of pearl, like, looks like a claw or a tooth or something. This ring, while it's really cool and pretty silver, it is missing a stone there. So this is gonna go to my scrap. Then this bracelet, I have got probably three or four personally. I love this style of bracelet. However, this clasp makes me wonder, cause it's kind of that claw, just the, the, the style of it, but I might, might be wrong. Let me see. It is not magnetic. Uh, yeah, so this one is not gold or silver. So this is just, I think I can still sell it though. I think someone will still like it. Next is this bracelet. This looks like it is silver. It's got a ribbon here. However, which ribbon is represented, I don't know. And I'm looking for a mark. There is a mark there. This side says until there's a cure. This side says made in Italy. I don't see a 925. However, it looks very convincing. It could be plated. So I'm going to put it in to be tested. I'm trying to poke through and find stuff for you. All right, we've got these earrings. Again, beautiful silver earrings. I can set them down here. Again, I think they're vintage definitely based on the backings and the how long these ear hooks are. But this is a pair that I can for sure sell. These earrings, while they are very pretty, they are not gold. I'm gonna see if they're marked there. I feel like I saw a mark on them. Just like a costume brand. Let me double check. No, nope, I don't see any at the moment. So these are just gonna go to sell. This is what appears to be a Pandora bracelet, but there are so many copies that we need to double check for sure and see what we see. Let's look around the edges here. I don't even see Pandora written on it. Let me look closer. Look on the inside, nothing yet. Open, oh, it's definitely tight like Pandora. So I believe this is just a knockoff Pandora. There's no mark on it whatsoever. I'll have to do a little research because it looks really legitimate, but it's, like I say, no marks at all. So I'm gonna double check on this one. We have what appears to be a watch chain, and I bet this is gonna be gold filled. There's a mark there. So this is 10 microns lamine, L-A-M-I-N-E, and I am not sure what that means. So I have to look that up. I have a feeling it means gold plated, but let me double check. So this is gold plated. So I'm gonna put my gold plated and my gold filled together and we'll sort that out later and figure out what to do with it. Next is this beauty, another bracelet. These are, I always get the blue topaz and the aquamarine mixed up, so I have to double check them, honestly. 
And then this, this is another one that I felt like I had a, something else to go to. But look at the back. I mean, the back is just gorgeous. Sterling silver, I can tell already. And, oh, blue topaz. It says it on the label. Aha. Uh -huh. It says 410, but I know for a fact I did not pay $410 for this. So this is sterling silver, and it is one I can for sure sell. Let's see. Next, we've got this necklace. Looks like so. Some little dangles. Oops, I'll show you. Little dangles at the bottom. Dangle at the back. There is a mark there. Let's get in on it. And that is marked 925 on the back as that of that. Okay, so this is a one to sell. We've got this sweet little ring here. Looks like possibly an emerald if it's real. It looks pretty good though. The gold looks good. And there are some stamps in there. Let me get in there and see. I don't know about this one because this, there's some scratching in there and then it looks like a base metal underneath. So, oh yeah, look. Ah, I'm going to put this in to be tested even though I know now it's probably not, but just because it, it would have fooled me otherwise. That, that gold looks really good. Next, I've got this beautiful leaf with a, looks like some kind of little fly on it. Cute. And when I flip it over, you can see, oh, there's a name for this. You can see the colors through it. Oh my gosh, what's the name? Uh, I believe it's something French and I can't think of what it is. Somebody will help me, I'm sure, in the chat, but where it's like, almost like a filigree and then it's filled in but like a stained glass. Isn't it gorgeous? Beautiful. And this is silver. We've got a friend coming. Bobby, please don't take anything. So that will go get sold. Bobby is trying to get in on the action here. Look, look, no, Bobby. No, no, no. I think what I'm going to do with the rest, I'm going to wait and kind of sort through this a little bit because this is going to take me a while to detangle and see if they're mates to earrings. There's one pair there I can see. So this I'm going to come back, but I have some other jewelry that let me pull out and we can go through. Let's look at these earrings. Zooming in. These are cool. They look like maybe they could be worn either way, like backwards or frontwards. So you could have a gold pair or if you're cool. You can flip them around and have a silver pair. Or maybe it's just me wishful thinking. And, oh Bobby, come on now. That's his tail. That's a kitty tail. So let's get in on these and see what we've got first. Let's do the magnet test. Nope. All right, and now let's get in and see what kind of marks we have. So these are marked K-A-A-N, or yeah, marked K-A-A-N 585. So these are gold. So those might be little diamonds in there. Aren't they sweet? So these are for sure selling. They get to go with the gold stuff. Oh, Bobby, right there. And a couple of these bracelets. There's this one, this one. They appear to be silver. Let me zoom it out a little bit for you. This flat lay kind of snake chain. This one is broken. And that one, let's do one at a time. This one appears to be broken. The clasp is gone, and uh, there's a slight magnetiz magnetism to it, but let me check on this clasp and see what I see. It says made in Italy on the back, but it is totally peeled off, so this is not silver. And then this one, which I love bracelets that have safety clasps. This particular style is not my favorite. But I do like ones that like box closures with the safety clasp that I just love. I think it's so cool looking like that. So this one, which appears like it might be gold, silver, and like a rose gold. Let's see what we've got here. This one is also marked 925 Italy. Let me see the magnet on this one. But yeah, the, the reason also I was kind of like, well, I don't know. When I got in there and looked the clasp, it was kind of like, mm, there were like little dots where it looked like maybe the finish had worn off. I'm going to see if I can zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see. Kind of see. See like little speckly black dots? It almost looks like, you know, maybe the finish had worn off. So I'm going to put this into test because it is marked, but I don't believe it. So here I've got this bracelet cuff style bracelet appears to be silver looks pretty good 
Let me get my magnet. Ooh, that's a hard stick. Let me see. It looks good though. Uh, I'm gonna test it. It's probably plated, but I'm not finding a mark either, so. I know I've shared this ring before. I'm having such a hard time selling it. I, I just love it so much. I've forgotten what the name of this stone is. So if you can remember, I've looked it up before and I just can't remember now. I can't remember, but this one is sterling and this really cool stone that I have forgotten what it's called, but it doesn't, it doesn't fit me on that hand. Maybe on this one, let's see. Well, of course it fits my ring for you. It's so huge for my hand though. So yeah, that's a for sure seller. And then this beautiful necklace. Let's see here. Let me straighten my camera out. One second. There. All right, so this really pretty necklace. There's an earring hooked onto it there. Silver, and then it looks like it's got some maybe copper discs as well. Let's see what we've got here. And this one is marked 925. Really cool. That's a definite seller. For those of you who don't know James Avery, that is their logo with the candelabra. I don't believe what I have in here is James Avery though. Uh, this is one of my, I used to wear this necklace, but the part of it broke and I couldn't fix it or I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So it's fixable. It's just that the teeny tiny chain needs to be fixed, but I used to wear that quite a bit. Isn't that cool? Like so. Isn't that cool? I used to wear that. I loved it. Well, my camera died on me. So this is a beautiful green turquoise sterling pendant necklace. And yeah, so that's a definite seller. So let me show you what I've got going on over here. Oh, my mess. So this is my silver to list. This is my just other stuff to list. This is my Bobby who's getting into trouble. This is my, sorry, Bob's. My gold stuff to list, which I'm starting to work on. Detangle that stuff. To test, James Avery stuff, silver scrap, gold filled, gold scrap. I need, I don't know where I'm gonna put this right, right now. And then I'm gonna finish going through some of this. And I think I'm gonna have to come back because I still have all of this to do and all of this to do. And yeah, let me know if you'd like to see me go through the rest of this because that was kind of fun. Fun for me, I don't know if it's fun for you. How you doing, troublemaker? He's like, what are you talking about? I'm good. If you enjoyed this video, minus the multiple different types of cameras, I'm gonna link some jewelry videos here that I think you'll like, and YouTube thinks you'll like this one. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.